Michael from Abani Films here, where our motto is, we got the lights, we got the camera, you bring the action. Listen, I wanted to jump on here real quick and do a quick review of some of these camera straps that I've owned and the best one that I've had so far. So when I initially started photography, I bought this off of Amazon. I forget the name of the company that makes it, but this one here, made of um, not the best material but it, it got the job done for the most part I think it lasted me maybe about six months only problem with this is it really doesn't feel real sturdy but at the time when I first started out I figured hey you know what I'll see how it was um, these hooks here you see it they have a tendency to just come out so if you ever see it on Amazon please do not purchase this thing it is just not the best and then the, these hooks here, they're supposed to screw in. They started coming apart. I think I was um, doing a photo shoot one time and the, the clip came out and the camera actually fell. So I definitely do not recommend these. So if you see this, even for beginners, I wouldn't recommend this. It's not the, the best. It's, it, the metal here, I don't know what type of metal it is, but it's not the best made metal because on this side, this one actually broke. I can show y'all real quick. Yeah, it broke off just within the first couple of the, um, months of owning it. So I definitely do not recommend this one at all. And then through research, I ended up finding it had a leather one. This black leather one, I think I found it on Etsy. There's a company that was selling it. So once again, I purchased it thinking it was a, a better step up from the that one over there and it lasted me i'll say about a year and i'll still be using it if it wasn't for these hooks over time these buttons over time just started popping off on their own and then these um these hooks right here are supposed to attach to the camera but it wasn't long enough for the camera that i had i have a canon 5d for some reason it didn't go all the way through so hold on let me grab my camera over and show you So normally what you're supposed to do is this screws to the bottom of the camera and then this is supposed to hook on, hook over here on this side of the camera. Well, here's the problem with this. The string barely reaches up there. So I never had the string on, so the, it tends to have the camera just dangle around, which is not good, especially when you're doing weddings like myself as I do weddings. Uh, it's bumping into things and could potentially damage your equipment. So this lasted me for a good, I'll say about two years maybe the leather quality was just okay and then this button here too after a while as you can see over here is coming apart so it started breaking the parts I was like uh, time to upgrade and then I did a wedding back in December and the weight of the camera and the lens just I guess was too much for this strap so it just opened and the camera fell Fortunately, I had the lens cap on there, so it was able to protect the lens. So once again, went searching, and I think I found the perfect camera harness for me. This thing is amazing. I mean, comes with a hook at the bottom. You screw it in. Comes with this right here. Just open it up clips on then you have the clip that goes on the top so clips on the bottom clips at the top oh and you're ready to go and it secures the camera so it doesn't move around as much so I, I love it I love it and it's dual so my second camera will go here when I'm doing weddings I can snap and keep moving yeah so I definitely recommend it the company is called let me take this off and show you Here's the company name. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Yeah, it's pretty good. The leather is much sturdier than this one. You can see the thickness of this versus the thickness of this. Definitely a much better quality camera harness or camera strap. It's funny, I was doing a wedding yesterday and somebody in the 
not even in the wedding party. They were sitting in, uh, they were invited to the wedding. It was like, oh my gosh, where did you get that from? I got it from Amazon. Amazon had it for about, I think it was like 80 bucks. So if you're looking for a good quality camera strap that you don't have to spend that much money for and it's real sturdy and can, as you can see, my cameras, see how it's not moving around as much, even when I move around, it keeps the camera strap, I mean the camera real sturdy. So I definitely recommend this company. If you can find them, tell them Mike sent you. Once again, I believe it's pronounced Koiro. Is that how you pronounce it? Y'all help me out. Koiro. It's backwards. It's C-O-I-R-O. -O, and I got it from Amazon. So if you're looking for a good camera strap, beginner photographers, experienced photographers, instead of spending that, you know, $200 on a strap, I think this holds up to the $300 ones or even the $200 ones. So I definitely recommend this company. If you can find them, get them. All right? It's Michael Bonnie signing off.